Okay, here are the five stretches you're going to do every morning before you get out of bed. So when you wake up, you're just lying on your back. I'm gonna have you do pelvic tilts. I want you to do at least 10 of them, really emphasizing the deep breath in, expanding the rib cage and diaphragm, exhale, blowing it out, flatten. So you're gonna do 10 of those pelvic tilts. Good, breathing in, blowing it out. Good, then you're gonna bring your knees and feet together, let your arms go out to the side and do these little rocks side to side, gentle stretches side to side with the chest open, palms are down, side to side stretches. Good, so that's number two, just really gentle, easy, releasing the tension in the lower back, waking up the glutes and hips. Next one, you're gonna bring knee into the chest, relax your neck and jaw, Hold it here, deep breaths in and out. Good, and you're gonna hold this for up to 30 seconds. And then you're gonna do the other side. Hold that, deep breath in, relax. Try to make sure those hips are even, back is on the floor. Good, relaxing with that one. Deep breaths in and out. Nice, good. Then you're gonna do your figure four. So you're gonna do your crisscross, Bring it in, hold it there. So here, you can hold these, you can drop it down and up, relaxing into it, deep breaths in and out. Nice gentle stretches here, good. And then other side, same thing. You can hold those for 30 seconds, not just staying in it, you can actually drop it down, come right back up. Kind of gentle coming in and out of it. Nice, deep breaths in and out. <sighs> Nice with that one. And then the last one of the five is just your child's pose, which hopefully I know you've been practicing and doing these a lot. You're gonna do a wider knee, opening up those knees and just come back into that child's pose. So after all those other ones, you should feel a little more open, taking your deep breaths in, blowing it out, hanging out here for a good 30 seconds or more if you like. Nice, so that's five. Before you even get out of bed, just to get that body going. I'll share five more to you can do after your stretching or after your walking workout.